Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time tuning in on my page. Today I'm going to be doing a quick style. It's eight feeding braids going back. I've actually never done eight braids before. I've done four, I've done two, I've done five, but I've never done eight. So this is something new. I'm doing this on straightened hair because I just feel like the style lasts so much longer when my hair is in a straight uh, condition and I use a mirror behind me just so I can see what's going on make sure my parts are straight I've obviously pre-parted while not recording because this is honestly the hardest part getting these parts symmetrical and even and straight is literally the hardest part for me so I had to do that off camera um, and I did use two mirrors kind of like the setup that you can see behind me now that's what I used to enable me to get the parts to look exactly how I wanted them to look. So I'm using Edge Control. As always, all the products will be linked below in the description box. But I'm using Edge Control on both sides of my hair just to get that slick look. I haven't even done my hair in ages, so I feel a bit out of practice. It turned out looking nice, even though the process... This is kind of a trust the process video because at first... It really wasn't looking good. It really wasn't. It really was not looking good. I was like, oh my God, I've forgotten how to braid. <laughs> but no, it's fine. I was stressing for nothing. It turned out cute. So keep watching. If you want to be able to repeat this style on yourself or on someone else, or if you just enjoy watching these videos, then go ahead and enjoy it. Grab yourself a drink, kick back, put your feet up. And make sure you drop that like and make sure you hit that subscribe button too. Okay. So I start off by using really small pieces towards the front of my hair and then the pieces get bigger as I go along. Every two braids I add a piece of hair and if I feel like I want it to get thicker then I add a thicker piece. It's kind of just feel as you go along. That's the best method that works for me so I don't really advise how many pieces I use but I always say that I start with very small pieces at the front and then get bigger towards the end. One thing I didn't mention is that I didn't really have enough of all the same type of hair. So I used, I think maybe a pack of 1B and then I had some ombre hair. I think I had two packs of 1B actually. 
and I had a pack of ombre hair. So what I done is I separated the ombre hair and I just used it at the end of my hair so that the color could be towards the end of my hair. So I added it around quarter part of my head for each braid. That's when I started to use the ombre hair. So if you ever don't have enough hair, don't be afraid to mix and match different types of hair blend it together or just use some at the end if you've got one piece of color don't be afraid to use it sometimes when you do hair all the time you've got bits and pieces left over and I don't really like to waste it so yeah I just mix and match what I have sometimes this was actually hair the ombre hair was hair that I had left over from a client that she very graciously gave me so I'm actually really grateful for that because otherwise I would have had to run to the shop and go and get hair and I just really wasn't trying to do that so this literally saved my life okay saved my life was very dramatic I don't know why I said that but it saved me the hassle of going to the shop So I almost forgot a shameless plug. If you or anyone you know is interested in learning how to braid hair, if you are in the UK, I'll be running my third master class in the next couple of months. So the class will be in July. All the information will be linked in the description box down below. So you can check out my website there if you do want to book. I recommend you secure your place with a quickness because there are only eight slots available. I like to keep my class sizes very small so that I could help everybody. In this class, you'll be learning how to cane row without extensions, how to do feeding braids. So the braids that I'm doing now, you will learn how to do those. You'll learn how to do box braids as well. Like I said, all the information will be in the description box. So this is the end result of my hair and I feel so beautiful. <laughs> I feel so gorgeous. <laughs> I feel so amazing. I feel, I feel lovely. I didn't really lay my edges, but I did go back and lay my edges like a few days later. I didn't really leave out much edges to lay, but yeah, I love it. Just looking back at it now makes me so happy. Even though right now these braids are a mess because this was like over a week ago, but it's so nice, it's so full, it's so beautiful, honestly. The feeling of just putting yourself together and taking some care and some effort is unmatched, honestly. It just does something for my soul. So yeah, let this be your encouragement to do something that makes you happy. If that's combing your hair, if that's putting on your favorite outfit, wearing your favorite jewelry, going to your favorite place, do something today that makes you happy. Thank you for watching and you will see me in the next one.